Okay, today we're going to do a demonstration on uh, Okamoto surface grinder. Uh, this is a large hydraulic grinder. This is a 28 by 60 DX. Uh, it takes a 20 inch diameter grinding wheel. A um, couple of features about it is uh, you've got a, a pendant or a handheld uh, box here for moving your vertical up and down. It comes in very handy when you're trying to set your part up and then you can uh, you can dock it here in a little nice little docking station. So we have this going back and forth right now uh, with the column moving in and out in a, in a surface grinding mode. Uh, so it does surface grinding and of course it does plunge grinding. Uh, it has a full automatic cycle where uh, you can uh, plunge grind either feeding on both sides of your workpiece or on one side uh, down to zero and then a certain amount of spark out passes and then the machine will uh, park itself and shut off. Uh, it also has a surface grinding program where your wheel is going to go in and out and each time your column uh, reverses you will uh, down feed. So this also has an over the wheel dresser and it has an oil chiller, it has a pretty substantial uh, coolant system that goes with it. Um, and of course the 28 by 60 magnet. So the magnetic controller is uh, kind of built into the machine and you have up on your panel here uh, your, your, your on and off, your DMAG and your, um, your power for the chuck. Uh, it's variable speed. Uh, so you've got your basic switches here starting the grinding wheel and starting the hydraulics, emergency stop, a power switch. Uh, switches here for making the, the program and then uh, the display here where you see your vertical axis and, and where you input uh, information. Over here you've got controls, hydraulic controls for the table on and off and the speed. Uh, also for stepping across with the column when you're surface grinding or to the other side uh, counterclockwise all the way down there you would have a continuous in and out. And then this here is for your dresser uh, going across the wheel on the top and the knob on the inside controls the speed of that. So this is your cross feed hand wheel here um, and this is your longitudinal hand wheel. When the machine is not being uh, used hydraulically this is engaged and you can move the table by hand. Um, these are your dogs here for adjusting the stroke of the table. This uh, operation over here, this mechanism here, is what we call the pointers. Uh, you loosen up this knob here and you spread these pointers out from zero, zero being the center of your chuck. So you can open that up to include the entire chuck or if you're just doing a small job, uh, just the size of your job. Um, this apparatus down here allows you to bleed your cylinder, get any air out of there in case, you know, when you've had the unit disconnected or when you're cleaning out your hydraulic system. All right, so over here we have uh, a rapid feed button. Uh, generally, you, you select the direction you want to go. Let's just uh, stop the table for a minute. Select the direction you want to go, and then press the button below it. If I want to go down, I press this down, and then I press that button. So that's your rapid feed. Of course, you also have a manual pulse generator here that you could put in either 1x, which I believe is less than a tenth each click of the dial, or you could put in, um, I want to turn this on. You want to make sure that you're in manual on your mode selector switch, and then you actually, if you can see that wheel, it's going down to your part, then you can switch to your 1x and actually touch off your workpiece and uh, at that point there you measure, let's say we need to take off uh, we'll go to our stock removal setting, let's clear this to zero let's say we wanted to take off ten thousands uh, so we put that in there like that and let's say we wanted to uh, get this over with quick so we'll put it in a plunge grinding mode so we don't have to wait for the column to go back and forth each time. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start the table going.
So if I select in my grinding mode plunge uh, program one or plunge program two, the difference is on one program it's going to feed on both sides or both reversals and on the other it's only going to feed on one side. Uh, so in order to get this going here we have to select now that we're going to go into automatic and you'll see in the window there that each time we reverse uh, we feed a certain amount and you can see that down here as well as up there in the readout on top. Well, it has a fine feed, it'll go into a fine feed and take its last tenth off of there. And then at the end it'll, it'll spark out. We also have a, um, a surface grinding mode. If we put that in back in here and set this back to ten thousandths, and over here we go into the traverse mode and start our table again. Now we have our column going back and forth. So once I put this into the auto sizing mode, each time the column reverses, we're going to feed. So the dials over here give you uh, a coarse feed amount and a fine feed amount and an area where you change from one to the other. So you, you put in, uh, maybe you want to feed your first uh, up until uh, your fine feed, you, maybe you're going to feed just uh, five tenths increment you could put five tenths on here uh, maybe once you get about a thousand a tenth away from your final size you can start to feed it uh, two tenths so you can set this on uh, the point where you want it to change over and then you put it on uh, the, the fine feed setting of two tenths and then you have a spark out um, selector there that says how many empty passes you're going to make after you get to zero So the machine is pretty much self-contained, the hydraulic unit is behind it, uh, the ways receive uh, lots of lubrication, we're going to take some photographs and show you that. Uh, you really can't even hear the machine running right now, it's that quiet. Uh, it's uh, really nice shape, really nice condition. It's currently wired for 440 volts and that's the uh, Okamoto 2860DX uh, surface grinder. Thank you very much.